copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the copyright act 1976 allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism comment news reporting teaching scholarship and research fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use with Sam this week. Michelle sent some notes about today's design sync. Andy and Adam are on their way over. We're using AI to search through messages. What's the gate code that Andrew sent me? The gate code that Andrew sent is 7361. Before, I'd have to scroll through a long text chain to the last time I went to Andrew's house. Of course, you can make a phone call. Call Yanir. Help me with this demo. Be right there. Thanks. Now, of course, you can also use Bluetooth headphones at any time. Estamos casi listos para enviar la versión final. We are almost ready to ship the final version. Great. I can't wait. Thanks so much. Genial. No puedo esperar. Muchas gracias. So, what happened there is the AI auto-detected Spanish, interpreted to English, and replied back to Yanir in Spanish with my intonation. I can also force it into any language I'd like to speak wow. or understand. See, this technology, man. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel scattered abroad. This technology is something else, man. This is something else. The institution is, uh, it's like a, what is it called? A, uh, it's called like an AI pen, right? Welcome to Humane. This is It's called this AI pen, pen, right? It's a standalone device. And uh, I think the elders was talking about it not too long ago. Comes in three colors. I ran across this video. I'm just checking it out. I got like five something. There's two pieces. A computer and a battery booster. And the battery booster powers a smaller battery inside the main computer. And this is how we achieve our all day battery life. So if you ever exhaust the booster, you just reach into your pocket or bag and hot swap it. This is a perpetual power system that allows you to use your AI pin for as long as you want. There are no wake words, so it's not always listening or always recording. In fact, it doesn't do anything until you engage with it. And your engagement comes through your touch, voice, gesture, or the laser ink display. It also comes with its own connectivity built right in, our own humane network connected by T-Mobile. We were able to pack a lot of technology into something really small. It runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, and that means it's really fast, which is crucial for AI. It's got an ultra-wide RGB camera, depth sensor, and motion sensors. And it's got this really special speaker that creates this bubble of sound. It can be really intimate, or it can be really loud. It has an indicator that we call the trust light that is built directly into the AI pin's hardware via a dedicated privacy chip. The trust light indicates when its input, optical, or audio sensors are active, ensuring full transparency and data security. The AI pin privacy chip also protects it from being exploited, which means if it's ever physically tampered with, it will require service from Humane to restore operation. The AI pin comes with a beacon that lets you know when it has something for you like messages from trusted contacts or services like cars or food as they come available online in the future. We don't do apps. Humane's OS runs AI experiences that are on device and in the cloud. The OS understands what you need and picks the right AI in the moment. What this means is that you no longer have to search for, download, or manage apps. These AIs are streamed on demand at the speed of thought. Let's play some music. Basically, Play the song, how music... See, this is a part of that beast system. 
this is a part of that uh, the image of the beast you know now the chip which is going to have all that stuff on it plus tracking you okay and they're going to put it underneath your skin but this is just another step in that direction with this AI pen thing you know it's just another step in that direction so it says uh, there's an article here it says AI pen may replace your smartphone okay so so I got this uh, video from it says humane a company founded by former Apple designers and backed by Sam Altman has shared details of its new AA powered device that aims to create a new era for wearables the company has shared a video on its AI pen a small square device and battery pack that can be magnet magnetically attached to a person's clothing Wow see Humane said users can interact with it in a, varied, a variety of ways, including a laser display that projects onto your palm. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy, man. It says a uh, price tag for $700, pretty much. Uh, it says the AI pen promises to blend artificial intelligence seamlessly into everyday life without the anchor of a screen. This uh, Lapel Worn Tech aspires to redefine our interactions with technology stepping beyond the smartphone era. Its designers have said they believe smartphones are on the last leg and this will soon become the norm of what computing will look like. Hey. You see uh, Esau Edom with his devices, man. He's got all types of devices, all types of spells and witchcrafts, man. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and 11. And it says, lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Now, there's nothing wrong with you know, the device, the technology, but we know where it's going. It's one of the many devices which they're going to promote to you, pretty much. Feed you being idle with things offered onto idols, you see? One of those things right there. Okay, through the celebrities, different people that are going to get these devices implanted inside of them. I'm not saying that particular device is, you know, but it's going to start off like that. These new, this new technology. Okay. This is Proverbs 19 and 21. And it says, There are many devices in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. And that's the truth. You know, it don't matter how much you upgrade your iPhone, your iPad, you know, people going out here shopping for all these holidays it don't matter the counsel of the lord is that, that, that that's that's going to stand you know i just typed in devices see how many times it pulled up i was looking for a particular verse but these are pretty good isaiah 32 and 7 it says the instruments also of the churl are evil he deviseth wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words even when the needy speaketh right yeah and who who's the, who's who's who knows about that device man they say that it's not tracking your data but as you can tell you know they already been doing the data stuff for a long time man okay you're not uh private anymore no matter what you how many times you and that's another thing you know that that's 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 how we know that they know something about the damn human trafficking a bunch of these kids going missing man there's no way with this technology that they have right well that's another lesson but yeah man
I think I was looking at for one in Isaiah. Or not not in Isaiah, but uh let me see. I think it was in Idris. So I like, yeah. Yeah, that's the one. It says, uh, and this is not a good one to, this is not a good one to put down. I was thinking about that one. But yeah, pretty much, man, these, uh, these devices that are coming in to play, man, they, 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 they completely tell you who this devil is, man. Revelations chapter, uh, chapter 13, and it's, uh, let's go straight to it, man. This is uh, Re Revelation chapter 13 and 14. It says, And deceiveth them that dwell upon the earth by means of those miracles, okay, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. Okay, miracles. Let's go into this word by means of those miracles. See, that's what these devices are. They're going to be able to track you, be able to track your uh, heart rate. You know it's going to come in handy for people who are like on uh being monitored okay i don't know why i went past it i didn't see it let me see on earth by yeah it's not saying it it's showing it over here but it's not saying what it is this is the word here it says Simeon Strong's G 4592 Simeon 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 it says a sign mark token yeah it's a token that by which a person or a thing is distinguished from others and is known the, 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 the miracles man okay Oh, I can, so, 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 so basically Esau, Edom, they can make people walk again. They can make you, uh, do the technology. They can put your old dead grandma in some kind of AI to have her voice there with you still. They can do all types of stuff, man. Create lab grown meats. Uh, these are all like miracles, man. And they can make somebody not uh, he, they can make somebody who was blind they can make them see again by these chips by these uh these are uh, this technology okay these devices it says a sign prodigy portment unusual occurrence transcending the common course of nature yeah And somebody you know was once blind and all of a sudden they can see again that's transcending the you know that's what our lord was doing but through esau edom through his technology he can he can make people walk again he can he can make people see again he can he can make people do things you know he can he can uh he can clone sheeps and shit like dolly the sheep he can clone things You know, those are miracles, man, of signs portending remarkable events soon to happen, of miracles and wonders by which God authenticates the men sent by him, or by which men prove to that the cause they are pleading is God's, is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's, a wonder, miracle, sign, a token, yeah. 
especially ceremonially or supernaturally. Okay. So Esau Edom through his miracles. It says Revelations not thirteen and, and fourteen. And it says, and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by the sword and did live, talking about the Roman Empire. America is Rome 2.0. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Okay, that's why, uh, going back to Revelation 11, it, it calls this place spiritually Sodom in Egypt. You know, giving life to uh, wickedness and death is, cruci is ultimately crucifying our Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh And that's what America does, gives life to wickedness. Satanic clubs homosexuality maps they want to uh, legalize pedophilia drag shows for after school programs drag shows in the Christian church it's a uh, it's crucifying our Lord this is a wicked dark evil wicked place And, and the Lord's going to destroy this place, man. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That's about participating in his, you know, his commandments. Which is basically to do as thou wilt. You know, Aleister Crowley type shit. Do as thou wilt. Or you can be two men and have a little baby. You can adopt a baby. And baby confused. This is, a, this is a dark place, man. It says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Christmas. You know, mainly these, uh, yeah, man, all these different philosophies. Religions and shit. Holy, holy days. Holid, they're not holy. Holidays. Even through his technology, his social media, all that shit. That's a part of his image. It's a spell over everybody, man. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And the image of the beast is... The New World Order, man. That's his New World Order. All those things is a part of his New World Order. And that's why they got a such thing called hate speech. They call people conspiracy theorists. There's an information war going on. Because they don't want you to tell about the things that they've been doing. The wicked elites. So they get you out of there. Zip. Bye-bye. You're gone. They love their wickedness. They like doing their wickedness. And when somebody comes in between that, that's, then there's a problem. So eventually, you know, these devices, they're going to be inside of you. It says, verse 16, And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That's what those things are going to lead to. All these different devices that they have, you know, it's ultimately going to be inside of your body. Because they're going to use excuses like, well, people can lose this thing that's on, on their person. It's going to get smaller and smaller. They're going to have to put it on you. And somebody can knock that off of you and smash it on the ground. You know, they're going to have to put it inside of you. And he calls us all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark. That word karagma. Right? 
in their right hand or in their foreheads. You're going to have to. Everything's leading to it. Why do you think uh, Biden signing the CHIPS Act? Why do you think Biden and everybody, you know, they're, they're protecting uh, Taiwan so hard? Because Taiwan got the chips. That no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. That's why it's a squeeze on you, people. Anyway, with that, show the one.